the 22-yard touchdown run by Patrick Carr. Garrett Lewis, who got the start at quarterback again, into a sea of Houston. And they ran three times for double-digit yards on that scoring drive. A lot of looks on the edge for the and second and short. Gargiulo right through an arrow and two sacks against Navy last year. Toss play to Perry, who could throw. Instead, tries to find a seam. And with it's been overwhelmingly Malloy early. Here's Nelson. Maybe bleeding the clock, working with precision. Great sell on the fake. Perry to the edge. Perry with blocks. Malcolm Perry. This sparks the commands. The touchdown belongs to Malcolm Perry, who goes into motion. Gets fed the ball. Perry. Late pitch to Perry. What a block by Tau. They're also down Gleason Spreewell for the first half. Result of a targeting call from last week. Side tend to really press and almost panic when you do that against them. And second and two, they sell the fake really well. That's the first. What inconsequential for Navy when it's this short. The toss to Perry. He easily has the yard, and he's got the block. Just 80 yards so far for Perry. Gargiulo keeping with the inside one. Lewis has been managing the clock well, sells the fake, Perry again. You're not being able to do it inside. They're not getting the penetration they were getting. That leaves the linebackers on. Haven't passed yet on the drive. Fumble. Lewis able to secure it. But Offense. Watch the nose tackle right here, working against Ford Higgins. Gazelle can't pull. So instead of the field goal try from Bennett Mooring, now movement and flag down. Each side points to the other. This is going to be a purely a judgment call, and I think it's going to go against Houston. Offside, defense number 10 entered the neutral zone, causing the offense to fall. Goes for the bait. So a fresh set of downs for Navy. And they misdirect to Perry and the direction of the football today. Lewis the pitch. The nature of Navy's offense, that third down number doesn't mean much, but that said, Lewis will throw. Complete! The first pass jumps him away. Yeah, coming in, we expect C.J. Williams and Mike Cow to be likely receivers. Mike Cow gets out. Oh, screen. Follow the fullback, and Navy into the end zone. But now they've really rallied back. What a defense. Toss play, Perry to throw. Looking low. Keeps adding up. Toss play, Malloy. Perry tries to deliver a block, but he whiffs, and then the hesitation allows Malloy to spring free. Taj Malloy, 32. Great execution by Houston. Very similar to what happened against Temple on the game to sight. Houston could care less. Doing it here, the snap with two on the play clock. Lewis trying to read, finds a seam. Is that a cumulative? Ground. They just shoved in. Isn't built for the option. Play fake, gonna throw, and nothing. Third and 22. Dive to Nelson Smith. They get some. Like they're gonna eat the clock up and hold. Wow, that was fierce. Ed Oliver, right into Nelson Smith and Garrett Lewis. As the ball hit the floor. Tackle defensive tackle position. Through the block, attempted double team, and just smushes Nelson Smith. Now there's, that's when you're lucky it's not a fumble. We are nearly two this year, also tops in the country. Lewis, a late, deep pitch, bobbled. Fullback. He's on the outside. Lewis to throw. Hooks up with Taylor Jacks getting stretched out on the sidelines in the late stage of the first half. Lewis. Lined up right now over in Jiki at left guard. Fake the fullback. Lewis trying to shield against the. And here, here is Oliver right here going against Njiki at guard. Look at that smack by Njiki. They drive him back a little bit, and that sort of sets up what we've seen earlier. Although Gleason Sprewell is available for Houston this half. Had to miss the first from a targeting call. They've also in gamesmanship not run a play. Here they do, and Lewis able to stumble. 
but also at UTSA Texas San Antonio before he transferred. Pitch a little off still finds his target playing with the Seahawks uh, it's our bye week so I just had an opportunity to go home for a little bit and then I decided that I'd come out here. Yeah great close to that season by that, by that offense specifically. Here the pitch. Man he's found a home of linebacker. Second down the misdirection and go right on through it. Loss of third and 13. Lewis stepping up pressure and he's down. Houston defense does it again and Oliver with Carter on Carter on his hip. Yeah. Defensive tackles. Defensive tackles like Oliver. Look at him crouching, working over Gasell. He gets the edge, then he throws him, gets himself a sack. That's a defensive tackle doing a little eat. Touchdown in the air and on the ground in every game this year. Mike Martin. Wow. Jump block. Offense, number 61 in the left guard. Half the distance to the goal, first half. Second time that's been called by that same group, that same tandem. And Oliver inside. You see the low block on Oliver and a two. Lewis off the fake, the pitch. Houston has just issues in his hips. Off the fake. Lewis hit as he throws and he finds his target. Connects for the first down. Zone defense, pull in the zone, and Oliver can't get there in time to be a factor. That's a big complaint. Lewis had no familiarity with his offense before he went to the prep school. There, the full ball. On the toss, Fells. Great job at the quarterback. Avey tries to follow, and he's got it, but there's a flag. Let's take a look. Yeah, check out what exactly Ed Oliver was dealing with in there. It's a nasty area. There's Oliver in the middle of the screen right there, number 10. You've got the guard going inside. You've got Higgins blocking him high. That right there, I don't know what the umpire, umpire was looking at. That was a chop block. 